Now to get this look, you're gonna need Nova Launcher, KWGT Widgets Pro, Shadow KWGT Widgets, Red Plus KWGT Widgets, and the Red Line Icon Pack. Now, if you don't know how to use Nova or KWGT, I've done a full blown tutorial on explaining how to do that. The video will be in the top right corner, do check it out. Now I do have 50 promo codes to give away to you guys for Redline Icon Pack, so you don't have to shell out a penny. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and DM me there asking me for promo codes to Redline Icon Pack. I have 50, so I'll give them first come first serve basis, so best of luck. And now let's move on with the setup. Now I'm assuming that you've downloaded and installed all of these applications. First thing is you're gonna have to run Nova Launcher and assuming that you're running Nova Launcher already, just go and add a new home screen or a fresh home screen with nothing on it. Now you may have a different wallpaper installed. So what you need to do is go into your gallery and get this wallpaper. I'll leave the link in the description below so you can download this. Then just go ahead and apply it as wallpaper on your home screen and make sure that the cup is on the left side uh, so that you've got some space for the icons on the right. And then you say set on home screen. The next thing you should do is set up your grid size, which is the number of rows and columns that your home screen would have. Now this depends on the screen resolution of your phone. I have set it to a desktop grid of nine by seven. So about nine rows and seven columns, but feel free to change this that best suits your screen resolution. This works for me. The other thing is going to icon layout, set that to 105% and turn off icon labels. I just think it's cleaner that way. And that's pretty much what you need. And yeah, dock, turn that off. Uh, I, I don't like that dock at the bottom that you see because I'm anyway going to place all my important app icons up front. So I don't need the dock. It just gives a more clean look. And the search bar placement, you could actually turn that off. So just say none. The next step would be to apply the icon pack. So what you need to do is long press on the home screen, go into settings, then go into look and feel, icon style, and then choose the icon theme. As I said, assuming you've installed Redline icon pack, you should see that icon pack appear over here, tap on it, and you can now check by going into your app drawer that all your icons now are belonging to the Redline icon pack. The next step would be to move apps out. For example, you want clock, so you can just drag and drop outside. Now that you have all your frequently used or important apps out front, you're gonna need to place your KWGT widgets. So long press on your home screen, go into widgets and then scroll down to KWGT, just drag and drop outside and then just resize it a little. You can't be very accurate at this point in time because you don't know where the widget is gonna be, but just enough so that you give it that space. And while you're at it, just add another one. Uh, so you've got both your widgets outside and then we'll go ahead and set those up. Okay, so the first widget over here is from the red plus icon pack. So tap on it and then go into the installed, assuming you've installed the red plus KWGT widget pack. And I think it's called red plus widget uh, 155. So let's scroll down and look for 155. And there you go, that's the one that I was using. So if you just tap on it, and right now if you see it looks a little too big, but don't worry about it, let's just hit save and then go out. Um, and you have this right now. So what you can do is just resize it and make it a little bigger. So that it has all the space it needs and then go back into it. And you'll see that 19 is actually completely in red color. What you want is that this, this square be filled with white. So just hit stack group, then go into this stack group over here. And then there's an overlap group, click on that and then go into shape. All I have to do is fill the shape with white color. So I just go into style and then I say fill and I don't want red fill, I just want a white fill. So I'll just do that and I hit save and that's it. Um, that widget is ready. Now if you want to take it a little up, you can do that. And there you go, it's, it's pretty much set. The next widget was from Shadow KWGT. So click on this, go into installed and then hit Shadow KWGT widgets. And again, guys, you can pick pretty much any one that you like over here. Uh, the one that I'm using is probably somewhere down. Okay, so it's this one, Shadow 47. So click on this, but there are a bunch of things. The one that I want is just this one. So what I can do is go inside overlap group and I can just delete date, uh, battery, and Google. Um, 
yeah, I can just remove all of this. And then within the cards, stack group, this is the one that I want to remove. So I just hit delete. And then I've just got this one left. So I can just go ahead and move it a little up in the center. And that's it, I hit save. And now if I come out, you'll see I've got that shadow KWGT widgets that says hi, whatever. And I can change that, obviously. I can go back into it, go into globals, and then just scroll down and you should see, oh, there you go, you've got the name and the email here. So you can just change that over here. And that's it, guys. It was really that simple or that complicated, depends on how much you know about these apps. In any case, I'm going to leave links to download the KWGT widgets that I've exported from my phone so you guys can just import it onto your phone. I'll also leave a link to download the Nova backup file so you can just restore the, uh, the file and then you can have that set up on your phone. Also, the link to download the wallpaper will be in the description. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was really helpful to you. If you've got any questions in the comment section, as always, don't forget to drop a like, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. I'll see you in the next one.